Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Mark Coleman and Stefan Struve. Dude, how about the hand speed on this guy? Certainly good fighters feel like they can beat speed with timing and precision, but it's hard to get a beat on this guy. And with the punches and bunches and the combinations which keep on coming, a lot of guys are gonna succumb to that accumulation of punches. He's got the power to go with the speed. This guy, a five-tool player on the feet, but the hand speed certainly is what jumps off the film. Stefan Struve is a towering, almost seven-foot-tall monster with great striking and beautiful submission technique. He uses his height well on the feet and on the ground, and when he wraps one of those long arms around your neck, it's like a python. So you know what this fighter can do offensively, but defensively, I'll be surprised if he gets put on his back tonight. The takedown defense really jumps off the film. Great balance, a solid base, as quick a sprawl as anybody in this division. And a lot of fighters offensively waste a lot of energy trying to bring this fighter down. May want to try to beat him on the feet because if you're gonna employ the takedown, more often than not, this guy will sprawl and stuff your shot. Mark the Hammer Coleman is the godfather of ground and pound and a living legend. He's been in this sport since UFC 10. He was the first UFC heavyweight champion, the first Pride Grand Prix champion, and he was an Olympic freestyle wrestler. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, Heine, out of the blue corner. As bad as a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 11 losses. Standing seven feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Body on a beam of wick, the Netherlands, Stefan Skyscraper! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 9 losses. He's at 6 feet 1 is tall, weighing in at 235 pounds. Fighting out of Columbus, Ohio, Presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former UFC heavyweight champion, Mark the Hammer Coleman! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready? Ready? And at long last, we are underway here at the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Coleman gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice left, left kick to the body. Clean jab. Struve gets hit with a kick. He appears largely unfazed, but he doesn't want to take too many more of those, Joe. Immediately shoots for the leg. Coleman gets the early takedown. Nice start to the round for him. Let's see what he can do with it. Clean punch. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Into full guard. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters up. Great exchanges. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Nice leg kick there by Struve. Coleman gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, clipped him with the over. There he swung the haymaker. Well, he eats a punch to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise to get his head off of that center line. It's almost as if he's moving straight into that punch. That one hurt. Oh, rips the body shot there. He's got double underhooks here. Pummels out of double underhooks here.
Drew gets the tie clinch here. This is a very good spot for him, Joe. That knee might have landed there. Good volume of knees here by Coleman. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by Coleman? Boy, Ty clinch now, Joe. A lot of damage can be done here. Big power shot there. Oh, nasty knee to the body. Big body shot, shot. To the body. Oh, nice knee. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And he's in the Muay Thai clinch. Oh, gets the takedown late in the round here, Joe. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Coleman gets back up, no surprise there. 15 seconds to go. He's fainting with the punch. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Stroop. Second round, straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Good job. Right. Take a seat, man. Breathe, deep breath, bro. Breathe, into that nose, out to that mouth. And here's a nice kick to the body that lands. And here's another kick to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed kick to the body. Very exciting round. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. Okay, ready, round two. Ready? Second round underway. All right, so here we go. Second round is underway. Pretty good first round, Joe. Crowd seem to like it. Not the greatest round you'll ever see, but good high-level action on both sides. Both fighters have their moments. We'll see, though, here in round two, if there is less of a feeling out process and more of an uptick in the aggression here. Round two underway. Coleman gets the takedown ball with that nice combination on the feet. You don't see that every day, Joe, but he is mixing it up well tonight. Perfectly timed sweep. Hits the reversal here and into full guard. Drew gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Drew gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Exactly. He's fainting with that kick. They continue to exchange. Coleman gets caught with that punch. Mixes it up. Struth's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Coleman gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Outstanding work with the ground and pound here by Coleman. Strew gets caught with that punch. Working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Coleman. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He establishes back control. And into full mount. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. He's now working for full guard. Drew gets back up again. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Nice punch by Strew. Good exchange there. Oh, connects with the one-two. Strew's got double underhooks. Oh, Joe, that cut is getting worse. Rated R looking nasty now. 
10 seconds remain in round two. And separate. 10 minutes in the books. There's a nice kick to the body. Here's a powerful leg kick. There's a powerful kick to the body. We've really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. Jenny Andrade to get us going. Third round underway. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. He takes it back. And he eats a right hand there. Fighters back to their feet here. Hit him with a jab. Strooms lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price. And he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Front kick to the body by Strooms. Rocked him with that right hand. Another shot. Oh, gets the single leg takedown. Nice. He's in half guard here, landing some big shots. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Big punch from the top. He hip escapes, he's out of the full mount. In the side control, look at that. Making all these shots count. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, he got reversed. Under two minutes to go in round three. And back up again. Beautiful leg kick. Looking for the left hook. So clock starting to become a factor here. Coleman gets caught with that punch. Now a level change. Man, the submission attempts keep on coming. Going for a choke now. The tight guillotine. That is a tight guillotine. He might get a finish here. That guillotine was close. In half guard now. Coleman gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Nice punch to the body. All right, so this one goes the distance. He nearly had the finish at times. His ground and pound on full display here tonight. And I think that was really the key in this fight and should be enough to get him a win by unanimous decision. Round three, top position secured. Ground and pound blows begin to drop. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30-27, 9-28, and 30-27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Mark the Hammer Coleman!
right, so there he is, your winner by way of decision, and the celebration is on in the corners. They certainly prioritize the finish coming in, but they will certainly take the win and the accompanying win money as well. Going to be very interesting to see how the matchmakers proceed with this fighter after he gets this big win here tonight.